Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, Tswane University of Technology, Dr. Rafila Lepere, lecture at the Department of Performing Arts, has been recognized with the Artist Scholar Activist Award. Her efforts have not only contributed to the advancement of uh, knowledge in her field, but have also garnered international recognition. The playwright and theatre director has made a significant impact with her groundbreaking work, dedication and sheer passion for her work extends far beyond the boundaries of her home country, South Africa. Now, Dr. Lepera joins us now uh, virtually to talk to us about her prestigious awards and her journey in the arts. Dr. Rafilo, a very good morning to you. A warm welcome uh, to Morning Live. I mean, personally, what does this award mean to you, given the work that you've done and the space that you've occupied in the arts sector, which spans over about 17 years? Um, it's a lot, like it's a great recognition. It, um, you know, it gives one pause to start thinking, wow, um, this is what you've been, because a lot of the times, you know, we're always moving on to the next project, the next project, you're mm. running, you're running. And this was a bit of a pause, it was a moment of really also recognizing and having a moment to think about the work. Uh, but also secondly, it also gave me part of that pause was to also think about the number of individuals that have really made it possible. So one of the things that I think about this because of the artist, scholar, activist, a part of it, it really awakens in you how much you have community. You're always accountable to community. You So it's not just this individual, you made it, you did it. Mm -hmm. Look at you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is, um, oh, wow, it's a collective effort and really also recognizing how collectively one is uh, um, attached to different collectives internationally and locally and how everyone has contributed to making um, work possible. So yeah, yeah. it's really a moment of course. Out of the many hats uh, that you wear in this space, one that fascinates me is a drama therapist. How did we arrive at drama therapist? Um, well, uh, <laughs> many years ago, <laughs> many years ago, many, many moons ago, when I was really, when I was still studying, one of the things that came through for me was this idea that the role of um, theater as mm. a healing piece, right? And really at the time when we were growing up, um, a lot of practitioners were using theater as a space for dialogue, a space for healing, a space for activating our communities. Um, I come from community theater. I am brought up in community theater yeah. and found that theater for me personally was always a space of wellness, wholeness. So when I encountered um, the concept of drama therapy, it really uh, 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 spoke to me. It spoke to the already the work that one was doing um, uh, within my community. So when, when one, then I went to study um, drama therapy and I had done also a little bit of applied theater in South Africa and educational theater. And really the concepts are interchangeable in that. So a lot of times people think that we're doing therapy for artists. Yeah. Um, it is, but it's not also, right? So it's like, yeah, the artists really need therapy, but it, it is, yes, they need therapy. But it's also the idea of the use of um, theater, drama tools, artistic tools to bring about therapy. So it has been such an incredible journey because one of the things that it awakens is also um, it makes you realize so much of our own practices, our own living, everyday being is um, a therapeutic act of work because we are always embodied, we are always in our bodies, we are always thinking through our bodies. So already um, one's being was, uh, and, and it just gave me just a beautiful experience of having to say, I am valid, I am real. And um, so even having gone studied it overseas, but having to come back and realize that actually we've been having it. Um, it's just that for us, we don't necessarily articulate it in that form, but it is something that one has always been doing. So it's um, the use of dramatic and artistic tools to, um, to offer healing, to offer wellness, offer wholeness. Mm. Um, and that's what it is. And speaking of international, I want to talk about the strategies that you employ, you know, to disseminate your work internationally and reach a wider audience. Oh, it's very hard. Uh, yeah, um, the strategies we use, I think part of um, 
as as artists, you really have to be part of a collective. And one of the for me is I'm in in a number of I'm community accountable. I always think about myself as community accountable. So one of the ways that um, to disseminate one's work has been to be part of collectives that are able to um, link up with other uh, communities outside of South Africa. So that has opened up. Um, the possibility to be able to be recognized internationally. So one has colleagues in the Philippines that you're sharing and working with, um, colleagues in the US, colleagues in the UK, and always consistently really it's about building community wherever one works. So it's not just about showing up and just performing, but really building community. So for example, recently I'm part of a collective at Georgetown University and it's called the Woodshed Collective. And that is also a uh, work that has happened because of a 10 year relationship with a colleague uh, of creating in community and making work in community. And then that coming and culminating in us last year going to Georgetown and finally creating now this community of artists. So it isn't just a very simple, it's not always easy to access, you know, markets and all of that, but I think part of what I'm also learning um, and, and, and sitting with and beautifully sitting with it is this idea that having to cre uh, create relationships, create community, and that those becomes the spaces of entry point. Um, um, another one is we are about to do something next year mm -hmm. in, uh, in Switzerland. And that also is a culmination of a relationship that is started in 2015 right so it's a relationship that was born in that and creating and making work and finding ways of uh, collective writing for example or collective making and then that culminates in then international work um so it's not always just uh oh today i want to come out and then i'm gonna be you know but it is a, a, a systemic and working and building relationships. I think that's more important, building relationships, building friendships, building community with others and creating in community. All right. And before I let you go, um, uh, Dr. Rafilwe, uh, speak to us about, you know, going forward, what is the vision for, you know, whatever it is, the space that you occupy? So one of the big things um, that I'm really interested in right now is a, so as, yes, big, big, big collective creation. So Woodshed Collective, the Writers Lab, I'm part of a collective of writers. So writing in community again is very big. Um, and then also what we have started with at the university is a creative research lab. And here it's a space where artists, we come together and we try out and we theorize and we get to, and one of somebody, it was such a beautiful moment. One of the poets, Masai Sipuru said, I love the lab because the lab is a space where one can try and fail. And I thought that was really precious for me because you can try and work on something without the pressure of having it to become a product and having the pressure of having to showcase and all of that. But it's a space where you can try out find yourself, find yeah. new works that are, that are in you that there's no pressure to kind of like have it as product. So um, so that is the thing that we're working on. And yeah. this weekend we've been uh, performing and creating in Cape Town with collectives uh, called the Nexus Collab and Creative Research Lab. And this has uh -huh. been such a gift uh -huh. because part of it, it's affirming that one, it's, it's good to work in uh, uh, a collaboration, in community, but two, Artists need spaces yeah. where they can dream up new works and without having the pressure of always having to, uh, this must be yeah. your hit, this must be the answer All to right. everything that you want to create. All right, Dr. Rafila Lepera, we could be going on and on and on, but it's news time. But thank you so much. Such an honor having you on the program. Uh, TET Performing Arts Lecturer, Dr. Rafila Lepera, who has recently uh, recognized internationally with the ASA Award for the exceptional work that she's been doing for over a decade. All right.